the patient is placed in a supine position. The arm is extended, with a tourniquet placed. In a forearm flap harvest, the vascularized flap involves the skin paddle, the cephalic vein, and the radial artery pedicle. The intended incision lines are marked on the forearm, and a scalpel is used to trace the ulnar border of the skin paddle. The ulnar border is reflected, revealing the palmaris longus tendon. The fascia overlying the flexor carpi radialis tendon is divided. The incision is then extended proximally towards the antecubital fossa, as well as along the radial border of the skin paddle. The cephalic vein is identified and mobilized from the proximal border of the skin paddle to the antecubital fossa. The forearm is rotated with the radial side facing up. At the radial border of the skin paddle, the cephalic vein is traced distally until a branch draining the paddle is identified. The radial nerve is also identified. The cephalic vein is ligated between clips. The skin paddle is reflected towards the midline, where the course of the remaining cephalic vein branch is traced and divided at the wrist. The brachioradialis tendon is identified. The fascia along the ulnar border of the tendon is divided. The brachioradialis muscle is reflected radially, revealing the radial artery pedicle. The pedicle is situated in the intermuscular septum between the brachioradialis muscle and the flexor carpi radialis muscle. The radial nerve lies deep to the brachioradialis muscle and is protected during the dissection. Once visualized, the pedicle is dissected proximally towards the antecubital fossa. At the distal border of the skin paddle, the radial artery and vena comitantis are divided. The radial artery pedicle is carefully separated from the deep fascia by dividing the lateral and inferior perforators. The perforators supplying the skin paddle are preserved. This plane of dissection is followed from the distal border of the skin paddle to the proximal border. With the skin paddle fully raised, the radial artery pedicle is elevated from the intermuscular septum by ligating and dividing remaining perforators. At the antecubital fossa, the vena comitantis, radial artery, and cephalic vein are divided. The vascularized flap harvest is complete and is removed from the surgical field in preparation for use in reconstruction.